Namo Amida Butsu, an illustrated biography of Shinran, Hoganji's Shonen, or Hoganji Shonen Shinran Deni, compiled by Kakunyo, introduction, translation, and notes by Z.H. Inagaki. Scroll 1, sections 1 to 4. Section 1. Shonen's family comes from the Fujiwara clan. He was the son of Arinori, the third-ranking official at the Empress Dowager's office, and a sixth-generation descendant of Lord Arikuni, the police and judicial undersecretary. Arikuni was a sixth-generation descendant of Lord Uchimaro, of the second grade of the first court rank, general of the Imperial Guards, Vice Minister, posthumously Chief Minister, who was called Minister Gonokayaku, and also Minister Kanan, and was the son of Matati, head of the ceremonial office, the Chief State Councillor, and was the grandson of Lord Fusazaki. Prime Minister posthumously granted the first grade of the first court rank. Uchimaru was the great-grandson of the Privy Minister Kamako, holder of the Grand Crown. Kamako was the 21st generation descendant of the August One, Amatsu Kuyani. Considering Shonen's distinguished birth, there may have been high expectations for him to serve the imperial court until old age or enjoy fame and prosperity at the ex-emperor's office. However, his emphatic desire to promote Buddhism and benefit living beings led to his ordination at the age of nine. Accompanied by his uncle and foster father, Lord Aritsuna, of the second grade of the third court rank, then the second grade of the fourth court rank, who was formerly the feudal lord of Wakasa province and a close retainer of the ex-emperor Goshirakawa, Shonen visited the residence of the former great Archbishop, Master Jien, also known as Jishin, who was the son of Lord Usoji and the younger brother of Lord Tsukinawa. At this temple, Shonen had his head shaved and was given the Buddhist name Hanan, with the title Minor State Counselor. Henceforth, Shonen delved into the profound teaching of Master Nenyai and Master Tiantai, and reached the truth of Buddha vehicle through the triple contemplation. He also studied the tradition of Master Genshin, who dwelled at Shuryogan in Yokawa precinct, and became thoroughly acquainted with the doctrine of perfect fusion, embracing the four distinct teachings. Section 2. In the spring of the first year of Kenan, 1201, when Shonen was 29 years of age, the desire for renunciation of the ephemeral world drew him to Master Genku at his hermitage in Yoshimisu. Since in the latter days people's spiritual capacities had become inferior and the narrow streets of difficult practices too confusing for them, he had been seeking the great path of easy practice. As Master Genku the great patriarch who promulgated the true teaching explained to him the intrinsic depth, depth of the teaching and the breadth of the doctrinal principle. He instantly realized the essential way of salvation by the other power and attained true mind, which is the direct path to the pure land, the path which accommodates ordinary people. Section 3. On the fifth day of the fourth month in the third year of Kenan, 1203, the year of metal, Shonen had a vision at night in the hour of the tiger. According to records, the world saving bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara of the Rakaku Udo manifested himself in the form of a holy monk of dignified appearance, wearing a white robe and sitting in a proper posture on the pedestal of a huge lotus flower. He said to Zenshin, Quote, if you, practitioner, are obliged to have sexual contact with a woman through some past karma, I will transform myself into a beautiful woman and become your partner. 
I will adorn you with virtue throughout your life, and at death I will guide you to the land of utmost bliss. End quote. The world saving Bodhisattva added quote, This is my vow. Zenshin, proclaim the main point of my vow to all the multitudes of beings. End quote. At that time, while still in the dream state, Zenshin looked eastward from inside the hall and saw a lofty mountain on which thousands of millions of people were assembled. He proclaimed to them the essential point of the message as related in the vision. When he thought he had finished this, he awoke. As I read this record and think about the vision he had in a dream, <clears throat> I see that this is an auspicious sign for telling the growth of Shinshu and an indication of the Nembutsu spreading further. In this connection, Shonen later remarked, quote, Buddhism arose in the western land, that is India, and its scriptures have been transmitted to the eastern land, that is Japan. This is due solely to the great virtue of the prince of the Jogo Palace, which is higher than a mountain and deeper than the ocean. These scriptures were brought here during the reign of the Emperor Kinmei of our imperial dynasty, and the authentic sutras and discourses of Pure Land Buddhism were transmitted at that time. If the imperial heir, that is Shotoku, had not bestowed great benevolence upon us, how could we, ordinary ignorant people, ever meet the primal vow? As the world-saving Bodhisattva is the original state of the imperial heir, he manifested his original august body to reveal his vow of incarnating himself in human form and spreading the Dharma. If the great master, that is Honan, had not been banished, how could I ever have had a chance to go to a place of exile? If I had not been sent to the place of exile, how could I have converted multitudes of people living in the remote countryside? I am indebted to the Master's benevolence for this too. The Great Master was an incarnation of Mahasatma Prapta, and the Prince was a manifestation of Avalokiteshvara. Through the guidance of these two Bodhisattvas, I am now transmitting the Tathagata's primal vow. Thus, Shinshu is growing, and the Nembutsu teaching is spreading. I have, however, simply followed the instructions of the Holy Ones, not my own foolish notions. The weighty vows of these two Bodhisattvas are to recommend single-hearted recitation of the name of one Buddha. Practitioners today should not mistakenly take refuge in the attendant Bodhisattvas. They should go straight to the primal Buddha, that is, Amida, for refuge. End quote. Accordingly, Shinran Shonen worships the imperial prince at the side of the Buddha. He does so in order to acknowledge his indebtedness to the prince for spreading the Buddha Dharma. Section 4. On the ninth day of the second month in the eighth year of Kensho, 1256, at night, at the hour of the tiger, Shakureni had a vision in a dream. Prince Shotoku bowed in worship to Shinran Shonen and said in verse, quote, Adoration to Amida Buddha of great compassion. You have appeared in this world as Shinran Shonen to spread the excellent teaching. You lead people of the evil world in the evil period of the five defilements to definitely attain the supreme enlightenment. End quote. Hence, it is clear that Shonen, the patriarchal master, was an incarnation of Amida Tathagata. Namo Amida Butsu. <clears throat>